welcome back to the channel. Last time I was in the game, I was uh, finishing up a live stream. So I loaded back in, and here Jackie is admiring the five-star mountain goat I got right at the end. So I finally have a trophy for the lodge other than my duck. So today, we're going to do another hunt. I'm thinking down to the island, because uh, during the stream, we were discussing that the most likely spot... Uh, for a trophy elk and a Sitka deer and maybe even a bear I uh, would be down in the private lands of the rainforest. Just gonna sort through some gear before we head out. Uh, this little guy's story is a little funny. I was uh, I did a three-hour stream and right at the very end of it I was about to log off and out he came. He's like wait for me don't uh, don't leave without me. He was literally walking out of the trees into the open right towards me. So, that was good, because I'd spent uh, three hours trying to get some kind of trophy without success. I had a pretty wild time with some of the animals. Uh, but now, to focus on this hunt. Do I bring the big old Lapua Meg? I don't think I will. I did. I used that one a lot uh, during the stream. So let's, uh, let's just reset a little bit here. We're going to do sort of a classic thing where a lot of us have been hunting with. We're going to bring the crossbow... And I think one of my favorites, since we might run into some bear, if we don't want to be too overpowered, we will grab the guide rifle. And I've been thinking, hmm, like it's fairly close range. Uh, down in the, down in the Amazon, or not the Amazon, down in the rainforest there. Uh, let's see, I like the 14. I think we'll go with the 15 just for a change, 15 times scope. And we got a predator call. We got our, uh, a bag of sticks and the elk call. So that should suffice with the binoculars. Is this the bit? Yeah, that's the right binoculars. Good. Uh, so what we're gonna do is check the time, set up our hunt real quick. Oh, okay, so it's late. We're gonna we're gonna sleep. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the lodge here because I just pushed the direct X12 button. So that's new uh, with the new. Um, build with 1.23 and I'm gonna see if the frame drop uh, is gone so the map runs perfectly smooth but right down by in that island cottage or cabin uh, it drops frames heavily on me and I don't know why two star mature we could, we could just take a practice swing at this one little bison out here, but I guess there's not really not really much point in taking him down. Alright, yeah, we'll leave him be. He's headed off there now. Maybe he'll get a little bigger. Can keep the average fitness up. So, I think I'll sleep here. Let's just see what time we encounter. Like, where it lands here. It's going to land right on 7. So we'll do 7 because I'll look for the bear around the around the cabin. But this might be past the point uh, where I get the frame drops. But no biggie. Not too important. I'm just going to fast travel down there. Here we are down on the island. There is a bit of a frame hit for me here. Uh, but it is much better than it was. However, the frames were usually a bit earlier in the morning. So not a big deal. It all seems to smooth out once I... Want to get rolling here. So 7 in the morning, drink time. What we're going to be doing is hunting the drink, uh, like I've been doing recently, because my main focus has been on seeing all the animals in a herd. And the often drink zone is typically the best place to do that, best visibility. And the bears are actually right here. Step right out, because their drink zone's right beside. And we got a four, another four star. Okay, so two bears to keep track of. I don't think any other bears come down around the... You know, actually, you know what? I think there is one that, that comes around here. Let's take a look this way. Oh, we got some action over here. So I got a, I got a four-star bear here. A four-star bear here. I think I, I checked these ones out. I did not check this one out. Hmm, because I have some time. Where's this guy? Yeah, see, he's... Oh, he should be here, too. Oh, wait, 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 wait. 
These guys have the same drink area? Oh, I'm not going to know which one it is. If it's this guy or it's this guy. Hmm, okay. So this means I should check up here. So this guy's drink zone is here and here. And this guy's here and here. So let's peek around the corner. To the left. And then I'll head up this way. Just to try and figure out which bear is the four star that I keep track of. It's a quiet time away the hunter. Uh, I think the developers are all gearing up, getting ready for their next DLC, which uh, no announcements or anything on it as of this recording anyways. And But it is a bit of a quieter time at the moment, so what I've been doing is focusing on Aurora Shores to try and get some trophies to actually be in the lodge before the new map comes out. I've hunted uh, Aurora Shores a lot, with a little success, so it seems to me and a few other people that they actually made it less common for five stars to spawn, but I don't, uh, I've never seen any confirmation on that, it's just uh, with Transylvania, I've hardly hunted Transylvania, well not hardly hunted, but l less than these two maps, and I have several five stars there that, that I just stumbled upon. In Aurora Shores I have a good amount, one of most one of most species, and same thing, I just stumbled upon them as well, so, but uh, down on this map, I, I don't stumble on anything really that's uh, too high fit very often. It's the rarely drink zone for this bear over on this side, so I'm on the west side of the cabin, so I'm going to say uh, this bear is the four star, the one that lives around, uh, drinks around the cabin, and that I haven't seen this one, so I'm going to Go back course, go back over here, maybe spook this guy. Or actually take a look and see, maybe there, maybe both of them are around here. And uh, we'll go up the go up the east side of this uh, waterway here. Okay, I bumped into the four star again. I'm going to send him running. We're definitely not going to take him. We're going to certainly give him the chance to get to five star. There he goes running. And I'm certain that I'm correct. He's the one that just drinks on either side of the, the cabin here. Wouldn't that be something to, to live in this place? <laughs> Every single morning, Kodiak Bear drinking within a kilometer. Alright, so he was down here. He just took off. The other one might be over by that blue, the blue marker there. Or this one, so I think there's another one to see yet. And I think there was another one that I've already spooked. I can't tell if that's the first one or another one. I think it's another one because the other one's bubbles would have ran out, I think, by now. Ooh, that'd be tricky. If he was in here. I guess I guess most places it's really tricky to hunt these guys. Hmm, well, I'll carry on like normal. I haven't really heard any calls from anything yet. These bears haven't even been calling. Just a few stick breaks. Yeah, look at that. There's one over there and one over here. Okay, so both of them were here. No, I got three, three different things going on here now. I can't see anything. Oh, is this the four star? Oh, he's too far away to spot here. Oh, there's two. Or three? Um. Oh, come on. I'm just out of spotting range. Man. Okay, did I just spook both groups there? Can Jackie get through this or does he drown? She drowns, of course. <laughs> of course Jackie drowns in that little, tiny little shallow piece of water. But, uh, no problem. I'll just jog on over there. Hopefully I can get eyes on all of them. We're going to know one of them's a female, so it's going to be two males. I assume that's where the four-star fled to. And uh, I really want to know what the other one is. Okay, more bears. How many bears are around here? I was I was jogging. I wasn't expecting to run into more. Uh, the cabin's right there. Okay, that was the female. The other ones were up here. Around this corner here. Yes, I think I went in the water here. You know what? I don't actually remember. 
I'm going to mark up there, though. I think that's about right. I mean, I went unconscious, and then I fast-traveled. Would the animals have teleported back? I don't think so. I don't think the game would have reset them on that. I didn't fast-forward time or anything. No, oh, time's all right. I was going up the side of the water, uh, up here to the east, making my way up here. The bear, the three bear around here somewhere, but I've completely lost them. I heard the elk call from this group somewhere here in the woods, over by where that red marker is. And also, also uh, stick snapping here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the collar game because i got a little bit of space here where it's not super, super dense. Uh, which will give me some time to identify what's coming in. So let's start with some calls. Uh, oh, that's the wrong one. <laughs> uh, oh no, it's the right one. Which one did I have on me there? Tracks low fit. Okay, that's fine. Well, I thought I had the wrong uh, caller there for a second. And we'll get the elk one going here too. And the, the best way I find to hunt the Kodiak bear is to uh, get in the area where you either hear them or know they are within collar range, so 250 meters, and then just sort of call to them. The problem with that is uh, often the female bear will come in first, and the terrain and the, the foliage is so dense that sometimes all you can ever see is the, the female bear come in first. And you sort of have... Oh, we got some Sitka deer too. Wow, okay. You'll see the the female in first and she either spook or you have to shoot her. Like you, you get kind of pinned down and you don't have time to, to keep waiting to see the male bear. And so I've been trying to see the bears at their drink zones so I can just visually see them and see what's on the map. See, there's stick snapping there, but I assume that's the elk. I thought maybe one of the stick snaps was a bear. But I'm going to stay here and keep calling. I could I could put the sick call in at the same time and just have all the calls running. And then I can try and bring out the crossbow. See if we can get some multiple calls going on here. Although I don't think uh, the herds are sitting in that bad of shape. I'm, I'm not sure I'm going to get low fit coming in, maybe. Is that a stick snap? Thought I heard one. Not sure. Nope. Do the old way the hunters spin around. Alright, I'm going to keep calling here. Oh, goodness. Here comes a bear. Completely silent. I had sick of deer and elk calling back. And no idea if a bear was coming. Okay, so it's just the female. Kind of what I expected. Now, I want to keep my calls up here. I will take her out because I want her out of the way. I don't want to lose the calls on these guys here. What was it? What was that in the back? Is there another one? basically just doing this because I don't want the calls to run out. Oh okay, yeah, that's okay. She's going to run. I'm not actually super sad about that. Is she running? I don't know what's she doing? I don't think a bow shot can get through here. Oh, hair in the back. Or backside, anyways. So that would be no good. That's probably an alert. Yeah, okay, so I, I do have them coming in. Or, I'm actually not sure they're coming to the call. Okay, the predator call will run out. I'm not sure they're coming to the call. I think maybe they're just headed this way because they're, they're heading to the drink zone. So they're 
might not be a low fit in there. But yeah, I had elk over here. Sick of deer here. Apparently there was bear in the area. But of course just the female came in because it's probably a high fit bear that's with her. And uh, yeah, no, she's got a stick poking out of her. Oh, we got a stick snapping. Yeah, see these guys aren't actually coming in. Alright, so what I'll do... I'll keep the call up for just a second because I think these elk are... Man, I'm not sure. They could just be passing by to the water. Hmm. So the sick of deer about 200 this way. We're going to change this. Put the marker out there. Any other sounds? Then I'll have to remember to check the blood, even though it's probably really bad. Well, this is difficult. I am convinced I do not have any animals coming to the calls here. I've done lots and lots. I think they're just walking by. Uh, so if I check the... let's see if I can do this. Put this on camera? Yeah, so the toolkit here. Where's this guy's drink? Yeah, okay, so this elk is definitely going here. Because uh, I'm about here, it's going to go there. And there's a couple Sitka groups. I don't know which one it is. Must be this one. Yeah, in their feed area. That would make sense. Okay, so let's check out the Sitka group. And then I should be able to see the elk. Um, should be able to see the elk uh, along the shore here if I come back around. So we'll go down southeast. Probably end up spooking the Sitka deer. And then come up the shore again for these elk. I'll also check the blood here. It's really challenging hunting here. Oh, okay. So it's a, it's a kill shot. It's a stomach kill shot. Alright, so that changes a little bit. So there, there, no problem. I don't think I'll spook the elk walking away. But now we have a bear to track down. Alright, it's not so bad, because I can flank around this way. Wind will still be good. Maybe we'll get some calls. I heard a uh, stick snap over here, so that must have been the bear. And if she fled and... Well, she did fl uh, flee. But if she stayed long live enough, she would have went to gather with the male. So maybe the male was over here? I'm just wondering if they uh, got back together, sort of. Had enough time. Alright, so that marker's pretty much on. It's a little short, but that's fine. Okay, so here's the stick snapping. I'm guessing she's down, and that's the male breaking the sticks. It's just really hard to uh, keep the patience up <laughs> in these woods here. I should be going a slower crouch, but I'm going to give it a little bit more. Oh, here we are. There's her body there. I'm finding these Kodiak don't call out very much, which makes sense. I think she's right here. Okay, that's, a, that's an entirely different elk herd. Oh, my plan's already... Wait, uh, it's not her body. It was just a bunch of uh, glowy things all in a pile here. Is this even... Oh, yeah, it's blood, okay. Just a bunch of glowy things right in one spot, making it seem like her body was here. Okay, so we're gonna... Man, okay, a lot of stuff going on. I want to see the Sitkas, but the Sitkas, if they're in their feed zone, is going to be really hard to... Like, if none of them come into the call, they're going to be really hard to spot. So I might let them go uh, because I can get them at their drink time. Okay, here's the bear. So I think the male is around here somewhere. 
If he's the four star, I have no idea. I would like to know though. Hmm. But chances of spotting him are next to none. Alright, let's uh, pick her up, see how bad this shot was. What an intestine shot. Alright, at least it took her out though. Kind of surprised. Uh, and you get, you get a little bit of money for her. I mean, she was a mature one, so she would have been heavier. 368. Okay. The, the benefit of that, of course, is a little bit of money, and she's also off of the map now for the day's hunt, so she won't be breaking sticks and causing some confusion. But not too much of an advantage, because, man, how in the world would you ever find that male bear in here? Without the collar, I mean. I would switch probably to the high fit call, but then I, I, a uh, safe assumption he's the four star. Okay, so I'm going to refocus on the elk, just pretty much uh, logically calculating in my head the chances of actually seeing the animals. The sick deer, I think, are a low chance. These elk are going to be out at the water's edge. Yeah, here we go. This is a good choice here. And I want to see the other ones coming out up here. So now it's become an elk hunt, which is about right. Yep, it's almost, yeah, it is 9 a.m. Time is refreshed. So that, basically the 7 to 9 is my bear hunting time. Which is a difficult, difficult thing to hunt. Four star. Everything's four star here. Okay, so not quite at trophy level yet. So that guy's getting there. He doesn't look like he's super old, so maybe he might have a chance. We've got a bunch of bulls in here. Okay, I'm gonna clean up the little map a little bit. Uh, not that I really have to mark these guys. Um, oh, if I hit the right button, that would help. I'm gonna mark their spot though, because I'm gonna have to. Oh, I am close enough. Oh, I am close enough too. I can use the low fit call uh, just to see if any of them start leaving the group. Then I'll, I'll just guide rifle one from here. Might as well do a call since there's nothing else really to take out. And I think they're all within range of the caller. Yep. Okay, and then there'll be another elk group that I can check out. So, uh, elk call up. Now, I don't know what the pathfinding is going to make of this. There's got to be a low fit one in there. And all these bulls. Are they going to come right at me and then, like, bounce off the water? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's just... Oh, no, it's an adult one. Okay. That's fine. No biggie. This is a good herd. I just don't have... They're just not old enough yet. Except for the one. Where are you guys going? I guess they're just going to relocate a little bit. Alright, so we do have our our call target here. And do another call, and then we'll take some. It's only a 200 meter shot, but I still uh, want it to be successful because there's a heavy wind to the right, and the 350 guide rifle, my memory serves me right, uh, gets pulled hard with the wind. Okay, we'll bring him into about 150. All right, so we're gonna watch for a minute. I'll zero up to the 150. The guide rifle's not super reliable for all shots, and the pull to the white, with the white, the right has got me uh, a little concerned here. It's a short shot, so it can't it can't get pulled that much though. But uh, the different ammunition types have different effects with the wind. Some get pulled more than others. If you didn't know. Just a bit of information there. Some of the guys in the Discord have measured it. And I just pretty much go by memory. <laughs> oh! Uh, let's flush him. I don't think he's hurt enough. Okay. 
I didn't trust that first shot. Three 350s should flush that guy. There he goes. Now he's in the wounded. Yeah. I don't know. His first run there, he didn't look like he was really wounded. So, I just didn't have, uh, didn't have trust in that shot there. Alright, so that's alright. We're gonna reload up. We're gonna give him some time. It did look like the blood was pink, though. Uh, through the scope. It did look like there was some pink blood there. So I probably should have trusted the shot. Um, but I'm not hunting for money at the moment. I'm, I'm mainly just trophy hunting, right? So if there's no trophy, we're just doing the standard call the low fitness out. It's nice to get the money, but uh, what do I got? 127000 I mean, there's nothing really. I, You know, the only use of the money is taxidermy. And I, I'm not getting anything to taxidermy. So it's just kind of keeps gathering up. I, I suppose I could buy the other colors of the UTVs, you know. I uh, probably should do that one of these days. Even though there's not much point other than just obtain everything in the game. Uh, the Sigurdi are calling. They did not spook or anything. And if I open up the map, I should be getting to the point, or close to a spot where these elk come out. How come they're so far away? Alright, they might be going to the northern drink spot then. I don't really know what these elk are doing at the moment. They're calling back into the tree, or from the trees. Of course, I can't see anything. Uh, they're calling back from over here, still east of the road. And they should be way closer to the drink. Now, the trouble is the wind's going that way too, so... Uh, they might not be able to make it to the drink zone because they'll have to get through um, the scent here. So I might not get a chance to see these guys unless... Oh, you know what my other plan is? What we can do... Hmm, just because of the wind. Uh, see, I can go over to the other side there and sit up on these rocks and and wait for them. Uh, just because I don't think they're, uh, yeah, see, they're coming here. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to mark right here. Okay, they're coming right at this spot. Probably. Oh, no, you know what I'll do? I'll just go to the north side of it. I'll go over here and maybe watch them come in because then they'll, they should swing south past the scent. So the scent's going this way. Good. So I'm already safe. They're 130 meters out, so I'll make it... I gotta get over here quick, and I'll just sit up on this little little knoll up here. And we can maybe watch them come out of the trees. Oh, I alerted them. Alright, I'm gonna stay still for a minute here. And I'll, I'm just gonna go up in that little little mound there. I alerted them again just getting up here. They're only 100 meters in the trees here. But it's uh, 10 a.m. now. So they should have made it out to the water. What I think happened is I think they caught my scent. So that would have pushed them back a little bit more. And I've alerted them a couple of times. Uh, so I haven't used the drone cam or anything like that to check them out. Or anything like that. I'm just going to wait like normal here. Uh, but I suspect that if they caught my scent they would have backtracked a little bit and then I've alerted them enough times that they might have some enough hunting pressure on that they're not doing their normal routine at the moment uh, they might be diddling around up there however I do have time uh, to wait here the other elk that uh, I hit there he, he's gonna be down and out by now but that's okay I'll go pick him up in a bit and yeah basically it's just the patient's time just gonna wait. I, I think I still think they're gonna get there. I think the hunting pressure will lift, and then they'll come walking in. Hopefully, unless they really throw me a curveball and they go behind me to the rare zone. But uh, no biggie either way. All we can do is try. Here we go. Sometimes plans just work out. Looky there. Here they come out cautiously. Oh, hey, here we go. And a four-star... You know what? We're not even going to mess around here. 
We're not going to mess around in the least. Oh, maybe I should mess around. And, uh, crossbow. No, 70 meters. Not messing around. Uh, switching guide rifle. So, in these scenarios, we are just making sure he goes down. That's all there is to this. Oh, nice. All right, right on. Finally getting some trophies in Aurora's Shores. Let's go uh, check him out. I wasn't going to bother seeing the rest of the herd. I'm not going to risk it. These days, we see one, we take it out on site. They're just so rare. All right, good. Look at that. Proof is in the pudding. Making a plan. Sticking to it. Using some strategies we've learned over the last year. And we can finally start getting something. There we go. Let's check this guy out. Great big rack on him. Awesome. Look at that. Two hunts in a row. Five star goat on the live stream. And then a five star elk here. Let's take a look. Right lung. 350 did the job. 72 meters. Nice slam. Just entered the uh, left lung as well. Do the overview here. 97 percenter. Almost 98 percent. So we just need him as close to 600 kilograms as we can get and he's almost there. And what is the score? It will be 464. Ah, you're still small. You're still a small five star even with weight that's almost at the 600 mark. Oh well. Five stars, five stars, but yeah, all my my other ones just a little five star as well. That's okay. We're gonna make sure to taxi me this guy, and uh, well, we'll do the little inspect thing. There we go. A nice five star, five star. Okay. Hunt rating five, trophy rating five, six seventy eight to sell, but we're not selling. We are taxi me. Bam. Good. All right, let's go pick up the call. I made a mistake. I cleared out my markers. I went back to get the UTV, just kind of out of habit. So I don't actually know. I placed new ones where I thought it was. Uh, but now I could be in for a bit of trouble. Oh, wait, wait. What's this? No. That's not blood. Oh, here's blood, though. Look at that. Pink, okay. So I think the first shot would have been okay then. Um, where did he run from here, though? Oh, right up here. Okay. Let's track him down. Ah, here he is. Let's see. Should I have trusted the first shot or not have trusted the first shot? I think I should have. Let's take a look. Yeah, I should have. I should have had faith in the 350 on a broadside. It's just when it hit, I wasn't sure how much, how turned he was. See how, uh, this is the broadside part down here. And the front side of him is quartering. But the back side's broadside. So I didn't, I couldn't quite tell how how much he quartered and where exactly the bullet hit. I almost got hurt, actually. Uh, so yeah, I should have believed in the shot a bit more. This one, uh, he, he did need the third shot, too. If I messed up that first shot, the second shot didn't flush him. So there you go, third shot did. All shots actually not bad. Uh, but that's going to take away most of the, the meat here. 45%, so he's barely low fit. So these are definitely good elk herds down here. I have to keep hunting them, but it's so challenging to hunt them down here. I uh, lost about a, a quarter of the a meat. Uh, but that's no problem. Let's sell him off. Whoa, 4,000 big ones to taxidermy this guy. So finally getting a little bit of trophies for the lodge. It's all pretty empty up here uh, except for this nice teapot of course you can't uh, you cannot not have a isolated teapot in your hunting lodge uh, but yeah put him here because I think this uh, this display will have a, a cow that you can put with them and I've already forgotten what's the other everybody was focusing on the albino bison rare that was added uh, but what was the other rare was it melanistic elk I can't even remember now. <laughs> but he was like, albino bison, the only one ever. 
everyone was looking for. Uh, maybe I can get, if it is, maybe I can get like uh, a rare cow variation or something to put there with him. Uh, but there he is. Another trophy. So I'm going to keep up the trophy hunting in Aurora Shores. Uh, just over the next little while, I think. That's what I'll do. Unless something something jumps out and I have to, you know, pivot and do like a news video or something like that. I don't think there's going to be too, too much news. But uh, hopefully, hopefully once we enter July, we start getting some exciting stuff happening. Uh, not that the game's not exciting enough as it is, but uh, it's always good to keep... Uh, Keep the news rolling in games like these. Uh, but yeah, that'll be the hunt for the day. I was definitely trying to do a shorter one, but the 30-minute mark is kind of my my short. Uh, so that's what we'll do. So thanks for checking out the video, and uh, happy hunting, everybody. Take care.